All right, NDI November continues today. Very special NDI November because not only are we bringing in a special guest, David Doku from Canon. We're introducing Canon PTZ cameras. Cameron's got Canon's got an incredible line of three, four K PTZ cameras, and we're going to tell you all about them on today's show with David. David, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Gary. And I'm, I'm really excited to introduce everyone to this audience to the Canon line of indoor and outdoor PTZs. Cool. We've got the uh, N300 starting at $2699, the N500 at $5399, and the N700 9699. These are available in your choice of black or white. They're all 4K, and then they've got different levels of features. Today's show, we're really going to concentrate on that new model, the CRN700, which is your new top of the line model. And I want to dive right into that. But before we do, I also want to mention that you guys have a controller also, correct? The PCC controller? Yes. And I actually have it right here with me and I connect. Uh, I'm going to flip over just for a second so you can see that in a small window that we have a control. You could see it in the slide, but uh, here with my hands, you can see that, you know, it just has the traditional uh, PTZ pan tilt zoom controls here available for people who are more ready, more used to the production environment. And from that, you know, you can actually, from this controller, you can change a lot of the settings, including a lot of the color settings, whether it's white balance, black balance, uh, some of the, the speed controls, and you can also dial in presets for certain movements. Uh, and you can control up to 100 cameras, actually, with this, uh, all by IP uh, and using, uh, and uh, just as a, it's a nice segue into the, to, to this, uh, discussion about the, the protocols that we support for camera control. Uh, one is the XC protocol, which is Canon's proprietary protocol. We introduced this so that we can control not only our PTZ cameras, but also our line of cinema cameras, such as the C300 Mark III and the C500 Mark II, and uh, and the, now the C70 with its new firmware. So in, in line with our PTZs in combination, you could actually control this uh, control our cinema cameras and a lot of productions do this for so that they can have a mobile camera and also these uh, static PTZ cameras. And of course, we also support uh, Visca, which is Sony's protocol for camera control and uh, and the subject of, of your series, NDI, NDI HX specifically. Yeah, very excited. Now, so now, yeah, go ahead. Go, now, uh, it's good that you guys have NDI HX and we'll get a little bit more deeper into that, but I also want to talk about that you also support multiple streaming protocols directly from the camera. So talk to that a little bit. Right. So with the introduction of the N700, we start to support SRT. And currently, it's the only the only model right now is the N700. But we do expect that with the C the N500 that we will support SRT in that as well. The midline. Uh, model in our in our lineup and so yes and then and so with srt our rtmp and ndihx we do support a suite of video over ip protocols that could be useful for your clients cool so now let, let's talk a little bit about ndi you guys have ndihx2 support uh that's in all three cameras uh one of the questions that i know we're going to get so i'll just ask it already is what about NDI HX3, the new protocol level that uh, uh, was introduced by VizRT and NDI that really closes the gap with full NDI and also sets a, a whole other level of uh, NDI reliability, low latency, and other things like that? Right. I, I understand the benefits of, of HX3, and I've read about the, you know, the why people would want to, to use HX3 uh, for the current from the current environment that our PTZs are, PTZs are being installed in, it's it wouldn't be of that much benefit right now for our for for these PTZs. But we are considering, of course, uh, you know that 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 new version of HX3, and maybe you know you could speak to to some case scenario where that actually came in useful, where people were using HX3 versus HX2, you know, privately, and then we could probably incorporate that uh, as a reason why we will go to HX3, you know, in the future. So the biggest advantage of that. HX3 is it closes the gap of latency with full NDI, and you do have latency issues with NDI HX by the nature of that it's compressed, it has to be decompressed. HX2. And then also it is actually more efficient as far as the compression, as far as being able to have more devices on the same network without worrying about bogging down 
what your thought is. So there's definitely advantages right. to it, and we, we hope to see you do it, and I'm sure you guys will. But let's jump into this new camera, the N700. Now, I've got some slides here. You've got a demo here. I think it'll be much more interesting for the home folks watching this to hear watch the demo. This is a high-end professional broadcast level camera that is suitable for doing live events like concerts, sporting events, things like that in large scale venues. It's a serious piece of hardware at almost 10K, uh, but take away the demonstration and uh, show us why it's worth every penny. Okay, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll share my, my screen. The first uh, user interface I'd like to show is my, just my web browser. And you could use your web browser to access the, the user interface for any of these any of these PTZs. They all have web browser um, web browser built built in so that you can just connect to them on an IP address. You see that I have it, you know, just at, at an IP4 address, and that uh, from this user interface on the web, you can control like pretty much anything, including including the PTZ controls. Uh, you can control the white balance. You can control uh, cut really a lot of the, the gammas. So with the C700, one of the great things about this is that we have added additional gammas and transfer functions. We have expanded the range of, 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 of Rec. 709 gammas available to you. And we have al also added uh, PQ, tra the transfer function PQ for HDR and hybrid log gamma, HLG. So this is new for the N700, which the N500 currently does not support. Um, of course, we have Canalog 3, and normally with Canalog 3, you would not uh, broadcast that live, but we offered that as an option if you were separately or simultaneously recording for further color grading down the line uh, in post-production. Now, I'm going to go over to a very unique feature of, of Canon in general, but specifically for the N700, we do offer our very best technology for for focusing and uh, our cinema cameras and our, our high-end DSLRs all support what's called dual pixel autofocus. With dual pixel autofocus, it's different than phase-based autofocus, which our competitors have. This makes Canon really stand out across our camera lines. Uh, so with pic dual pixel autofocus, it uses the native advantages of our sensors, our CMO sensors. We make these sensors ourselves which each have two diodes and using two diodes per prototype, they use a special technology which compares those, uh, the outputs of the diodes to really, to really hone in in a very fast way, the, the focusing capabilities and accuracy. So with face detection, we offer face detection which some of our competitors uh, may or may not have, but uh, we do offer that. And that really just locks, as you can see, it locks in on my face and it's, um, with with the dual pixel autofocus, it's I can say that it is the most accurate of, of our of all the PTZ lines out there. This 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 technology for autofocusing, and it also offers eye detection. So not only can you just make sure that you're getting you know the head, uh, the, the proportions of the head, you can actually hone in on uh, the eyes, really pinpoint which eye. So you can actually you know you can select which eye you want to act you want to focus in. It's that precise. Again, one of the big, huge advantages of the, the, these Canon kind of PTZs is you get that. You get image stabilization, and uh, you get another really unique thing with the N700. You get uh, these dual crop modes. So the N700 has both a 12G and a 3G SCI out on the back of the, um, of the PTZs. And because of that, because it's a 4K sensor, you can send out simultaneous streams, two streams, one that you can choose to either go full frame, and I'm gonna, you know, you can just, in this interface, you can see that I can just decide to send out just the full frame, uh, downscale to HD, or you could, and the second one can be a, a HD crop of that full frame. Similarly, the first one can be an HD crop of that full frame image. So you can both send out a wide and a tight Fully utilizing that 4K resolution of the of the sensor and and really maximizing the the utility and the flexibility of this camera. Uh, just just uh, I'm gonna switch now that I've shown you some of the capabilities of this user interface. I'm just going to switch over uh, while I'm doing this demo to 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 another application which we call the remote control camera application and this. 
I can. Cool. While well, you're doing that, in fact, we'll bring up our little screen up oh, here, full screen, and let everyone see that for a little bit yeah, while you set sure. up. Yeah, the remote control camera application, as you see in your in your slide, is the um, is is really another application that you can install on on Windows or Windows Surface, and you can either use touch screen on Windows Surface or you could just use your mouse on a Windows laptop. Um, and and really, it's another way to control it in a more visual way. It, it rather than the web UI, which is just one camera per you know page, you can see all four cameras. Uh, as you can see here in my demonstration. So here I have on, on one, I have you know the N700, on two, I have the N500, and on, on, on the third window, I have the N300. And, uh, and I'll go into the differences between these three cameras uh, in, a later, in a later part of this presentation. But as you can see, you could just select each one of these and, and whether it's N500 or the N1, N700. With the N700, you've, as, as with the other cameras, you can select a lot of the same image parameters and image adjustment features that you saw in the web interface. However, it's all kind of consolidated into this one very nice uh, interface. And similarly, with the web interface, uh, if you choose to, you can actually control the camera's PTZ functions, the zoom, the pan and tilt, uh, from, as you can see, I could just you know use the, the, the cursor keys of this interface. You could use that to 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 control your cameras, all three of them at the same time, just without a controller. If you don't want to choose, if you choose not to use a controller, um, and in the future, you know, we do hope to incorporate the same kind of windowing that you could see for those crop features, in we, uh, very very soon, I hope, in into this interface, so that you can also you know choose your crop windows and crop sizes for multiple feeds from the N seven hundred. Awesome stuff. Now, if there's Go. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I, I was going to say, why don't we, we talk a little bit? You mentioned it about the, there are three products in the product line. So if you could quickly give a little overview of how you go from the N300 to the 507, what makes good, better, best, or great, fantastic, awesome, incredible? Yeah, a great question. And the the, I'd like to summarize really the capabilities of each of these cameras. The the N three hundred is based on a on a half inch chip, a little sli slightly larger than a half inch chip, you know, one uh, over two thirds inch chip. And the N five hundred and N seven hundred are based upon our one inch sensor, the same sensor that actually that we use on our very uh, very handy N sorry the XF six hundred five and XF seven hundred five. So. Uh, the N300 uses a smaller sensor. It makes it so that it's lighter and smaller. You could really tuck it into a lot of the corners that you might you know, not be able to, to put in some of the larger PTZs, including the N500 and N700. The N500 and the N700 have a, that one-inch sensor, so they are necessarily better in low-light situations. With the larger sensor, you get the bigger photo pixels. And so that'll just give you more of an advantage for the high ISOs when you want to shoot in dark environments. And as a lot of people know that in these events, whether it's for house of worship or for concerts, side side. you're often dealing with low light situations. So for low light situations, I would recommend that N500 or the N700. The N300 um, has UHD 4K up to 30 frames per second, as does the N500. They both have 3G connectors in the back. The N700 upgrades that capability. So now you can do with the N700, you can do 4K at 60p, and you could do it at 10-bit 422 color sampling. So you're really getting high, the highest quality color and also the highest quality frame rates, the, the fastest frame rates of, of the line with the N700. And really, those are uh, the, some of the basic capabilities. They're all, they're all capable of PoE+. Plus. The N700 requires PoE++. So you don't necessarily need a power supply, uh, you know, separate from your, 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 your LAN connection. And so that, uh, that will be an advantage for a lot of people who don't want to deal with, you know, providing separate power for that. And with NDI, you can get everything with the one connection. So, you know, lots of cool that's advantages correct. to, and that's to this camera beauty. that's so exciting. And one of the things that we've got a slide of a, the N700 has got a pretty impressive jack panel on it as well, including two XLRs. Let, let's talk about that a little bit. 
Right. You can send in two XLR feeds and that will get sent out embedded in either, you know, through NDI or through uh, VSDI. Um, so that's that's a very uh, that's a very useful option. Our um, and also we changed the the power connector on the N700 just to make it uh, you know just make it more unique and more robust. We changed we changed it over to XLR power, and um, so and also also for the RS222 RS422 we did provide a separate jack for that in all our in all our PTZs, and you do see those unique um, unique you know the 12G and the 3G and the time code all there for you. Uh, one, of the, one of the other unique things about the N700 is that uh, there is a USB slot. They all have USB slots, but the N700 through that USB slot, you can load 3D LUTs so that if you want to put a LUT on the log three uh, that you custom make in DaVinci Resolve, you can do it. And it'll, and you, it'll send that out through that S, those SDI feeds. Really a very, it's a, it's a built-in lock box. Another value-added proposition for, for people who are using our N700. Very cool. So the, I, I want to talk about something that, that, that we find all the time, and you mentioned before, which is low light, because we sell a lot of PTZ cameras into church house of worship. And I think the biggest complaint that I get on PTZ cameras and house of worship is, you know, I love the camera, the movement's okay, but you know, we, we don't have that kind of lighting that you know Broadway shows do and stuff like that. We need something that's a better sensor for low light. Uh, you guys have actually taken your cinema cameras and turned them into PTZs. Am I oversimplifying here? Is uh, that's what I'm hearing? The the PTZ do have that one inch sensor, which if for anyone who's actually used the XF605 or 705, it, you know, it really does very well in low light. The, um, and then the, dig, the digic processing, the, the, we, the N700 has the latest digic seven, really helps to, to reduce the noise, you know, and in combination with the, with Canon Log3 or any of one of the new, um, the the new Rex 709 gamma is it really helps to kind of give you a very pleasing image. It's Canon color science, the same color science that we put into our cinema cameras. You, you this you get them in the PTZs, and I think that's why a lot of people will uh, will will find these to be cinematic because they are based on the same color science that our cinema cameras have. I, I think that's the word that I was looking for. That you know we've never discussed. PTZ cameras with any of our other vendors and use the term color science because really that's a cinema world. That that's where you know Canon and Red Camera and the Black Magic High-end cameras kind of live on those cinema level where you're getting into things where one of the things about the color science that I think is real important that you told me about when we were kind of talking about setting up the show was is I can go live at streaming resolutions, but I can then pump out via SDI. What would be, I would say, the cinema level stuff for when I want to do that heavier work, that heavier grading, maybe I'm going to resolve, or I just want a different look for the finished product. And I think that's super cool. And I even think it's cool for sports because instant replays look a little cooler when they're done that way too. You know, there's there's so many different ways where I can see this camera fitting into that higher end event space. So this isn't for the school on a budget. It's not for the person putting in a little AV conference room. But if you're really looking to get that next level production quality where you want to look like you're doing something better where you really want a high-end cameraman using a high-end camera but you just don't have the cameraman in the space to put them these cameras really fit in there and i think you're in a space where it's a pretty highfalutin space you know these cameras aren't they're not cheap's the wrong word they're, they're not overly expensive they're not inexpensive they cost what you'd expect given what you see in there but I'm just blown away that not only do I get all these features, but I also get NDI on this camera line. And this is a camera line that isn't brand new to you guys, but you're, you're still in heavy duty development and new features and new software things are going to be added as we go. So talk about where the future is going for these cameras in general. Don't give away anything that's going to get you fired, but just kind of some of the stuff that no. you're thinking about <laughs> doing in the near future. Yeah, I think... I think we, of course, are aware of what our competitors are doing, and and for low light, uh, we definitely uh, are aware that there's there's always going to be a need for for cameras that do better and better in low light situations. That's that's with regardless, of course. What can we do to to you know to to develop that? There's various methodologies, and I I can't discuss it really, but but we are very very sensitive to the fact 
that's a good word to use, of course, sensitive to the fact that, you know, that a lot of these PTZs are being used in low light situations. And I think you really, really drove that that point across, Gary, is that and that's something that, of course, we're always going to continuously try to improve. Um, we hear you about the, 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 the you know, the, the one SRT employment. Yeah. It's really important across the line, uh, you know, for any new new cameras coming out, and also as you mentioned, the HX3. Where it's, I'm not, I just, I'm not aware of wh where that development is, but, um, it, but definitely, I hear you, and we're we're going to be, um, very very interested in 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 trying to see, you know, wh whether whether that or not that benefits, um, our either our current line or our future camera line. Uh, with that version of NDI, of course, NDI is extremely important to the to this industry as as you are doing this whole series on it, and so we want to make sure that we support it to the full. Well, fullest. I got to tell you, um, I think you did a phenomenal job showing off why Canon PTZ cameras are more than just cameras; they're more than just PTZs. It's a whole other level of product for us, and I'm so glad to be offering those to our customers now. NDI November, big deal, but you know. Not only do we make NDI November, but you're towards the end of NDI November, and there's this thing coming up called Black Friday, and boom, you guys have some Black Friday specials going on. So I just wanted to mention that there is a $300 instant rebate going into effect on the CN300 and the CRN500, black or white, your choice. So take advantage of that big one. And now I want to cut back to you because whenever I have a guest on the show, I always like to tell the guest, hey, Thank you for coming on. And now you give you a minute, two minutes, three minutes, whatever you need. Wrap up the show. Tell us what you want to tell us. The floor is yours. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Thank you very much for really helping to, you know, get, provide information to your customer base about these PTZs. They're they're very important for for um, business to business, and uh, we really appreciate your you know your support for our, our line. I think with the N700, just like you mentioned, you can have multiple feeds. One with one one spigot with the Canalog three that you can, or or HDR, which you can you know store for for later use, and then you can have that Rec709 image for live streaming because everything right now live streaming is Rec709. So I really appreciate your your inviting us to to profile our our models and our lineup and I hope to um, hope that we can work together to really advance this field. Awesome. Of Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. You're a great guest. Let's bring this slide up full screen now. NDI pack with webinars guys, even though we're later in the month, all the webinars we did are available for you to watch on demand, YouTube, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, from the NDI November website. But more than that, we're still doing giveaways, folks. So it's not too late to register for NDI November. Go to ndinovember.com and register. We're giving away PTZ cameras. We're giving away uh, software. We're giving away webcams. And we're giving everyone who registers the digital version of the unofficial guide to NDI. So we're very excited about that. We want to thank everyone who's come to these webinars and watched them. We want to thank Canon for being on today's show. Once again, NDI November, packed with webinars. This is Gary. Thank you very much for tuning in. One more week of NDI November, and then it's time for Black Friday sales, folks. See you then. Peace. NDI November is going on all month long for all things NDI. Your one-time registration gains you access to all the informative webinars with great guests and tons of giveaways. Check out the full schedule and register at ndinovember.com. Giveaway prizes include Bird Dog P100, JVC PZ200N camera, Telestream Wirecast Pro license, New Tech University class, and more. See all the giveaway prizes and register now at ndinovember.com.